I know this video is late, my booster box did get stuck in transit, I apologize. But on the brighter side, this is an amazing set with beautiful alternate artworks, trainers, let's be real, the alternate artworks are really the spotlight of the show. We have Rotom, Aerodactyl, Glam Persiker, and last but not least, beautiful Giratina, that's my personal chase card, and my best nemesis, okay, Julian, somehow managed to pull this on his first box. But anyways, if you want your own booster box of Lost Abyss, Feel free to also check out the link in the description below where you can find yoyakanao.com. They are the sponsor of this video and do provide a wide variety of Pokemon trading card products, as well as your interesting and realistic looking figurines for you interesting waifu collectors. And without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. We got Lost Abyss, or as Jay likes to call it, Lost a Biscuit, because you know, he's British and you know, he loves his digestives. If if you're American, you probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but if you're from the UK, probably know digestives. Anyway, enough about digestives. We're gonna get lost in this set. Ha ha ha. It's been a while, guys. I miss opening booster boxes with you guys. It's been a minute. I've been quite busy, you know, working on other projects outside of YouTube. This doesn't want to work with me right now. Here we go. But I hope you guys have been well surviving this heat wave. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I know my buddies in Australia right now are dying for winter etc. There's always something going on, right? But we got a beautiful booster pack. So I'm so excited. I wonder if we pull any Garatinas in this booster box. There's four possible Garatinas we can get. The rainbow, the full art, the alt art, of course, and of course the gold Garatina, which is very matching actually. We're going to do this barehandedly because I want to keep my pack arts. So Jay, wish me luck, okay? I got a nice beautiful Wishing pack card. All the best. So of course, this isn't one of those sets with like radiant cards or anything, but something that's really cool, we have lost zone cards. As you oh, can see, we have the, cards. yeah, right? And it's a uh -uh, or a cramorant. Ooh. Love this one. It looks very eerie and it's also by Harada. Oh, but okay. anyway, watching Japanese name. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And of course, cramorant in English. But of course, if you know anything about the lost zone, it was an old game mechanic from back then, Ushibuzo, Fletchling. Um, basically the lost zone, you discard your cards. Basically, you can't retrieve it, even if you have special cards that, you know, would normally allow you to recover cards. So basically, it's lost forever, but on the upside, you probably have more benefits in the PC. Oh, so is that why it's called Lost Abyss? Yeah, it's like basically sending your card to the Shadow Realm and it never comes back, as opposed to a normal discarded card, where sometimes under certain conditions, you can recover it back. So yeah, just I, I, did, I actually didn't know that. Just thought it was <laughs> just thought it was a fun little fact. That's if people, if people were wondering what this like weird coloring was. It's the lost zone symbolism. That's cool. We have a barbarical, very beautiful artwork. I'm not really a big fan of this Pokemon, but this is a really cool artwork and of course a cool hollow. Guys, one thing that we have to always appreciate, and I have always been talking about this, JLo has been talking about this, the artwork of the common cards, the uncommon cards, you have to appreciate them. It's not just about the secret rares, not just about the alt arts, guys. Like, there's some, look at this freaking shuppet here. Like, that's a beautiful card by Koki Saito, also JLo's favorite art, artist. And we have a Waylord, and of course, all of our beautiful artists that are coming into the TCG since, you know, VMAX Climax, a lot of new other recent sets. My personal favorite, Shinji Kanda. And yes, that is the artist of the alt art in this set for Giratina. Giratina also in Japanese. That's a funky looking spindle. Like, look at him. You see like half of him here. And he, of course, it's because it's he's moving really fast. But I just find that funny. Like, if an artist can capture a Pokemon in motion like that, that's pretty, pretty skilled in my opinion. Sometimes it's a little hard to capture illusion like that. We got a horsey. I keep seeing things. Oh, this is a really nice holographic by Shibuzo. Also one of my personal favorites. What do you mean by seeing things? No, I, I see like a little like shiny border. Oh. Like, is it is it a secret rare or is it a hollow? It's just a hollow in you this know, case. You know what? You should, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know you're sweating. it's guys. I'm trying not to melt, and of course I do have AC going on. But you know, when you're recording a video, you can't really have that blasting. It's gonna be distracting AF. So we're gonna make do. That was a beautiful Sableye by Shibuzo. If this person's ever watching, I admire your artwork because you know if you remember that mold trays from Matchless Fighter, she also made that beautiful artwork. We have Sandy Gast. <gasps> this is such a cute Whalmer. Again, oh, look at all the little wingles on the side. That's so nice. I like the little cameos of other Pokemon. And we have a Lost Zone Bennett. If you guys didn't know, there are sleeves and a deck box featuring the Pokemon with the Lost Zone, you know, notation or the artwork. And I thought it's pretty cool. It's really like bringing back a, a favorited mechanic from the TCG. 
So they got Lady, there's also of course the full art for all the, the weird waifu collectors out there, you know, I'm talking about you guys. We have Porygon 2, we have Seal, oh, and we have a Shifter by Kawaii. I love his mysterious artwork style. Look at that, of course, Lost Zone. It really contrasts with some cards, I have to say, but it looks a lot like DNA, like it runs, it reminds me of Deoxys a lot of the time. And it's interesting because the high class Deoxys, um, high class deck for Deoxys came out along with the Zero Oro, but I find it interesting how the colors match so much. We have Sunflora with the Sunflowers. I bet you someone's going to make a, you know, a painted card of this. There's a lot of people painting over cards now on Instagram. It's very interesting to see what's trending nowadays. Swirlix in a little knit form, so adorable. Sunkern, Crookerook, and there's Crocodile. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemon from the generation. I think it's Gen 5. Forget at this point. It's so many generations nowadays. But it's cool. It's like dark and ground type. So continuing, we got the Lost Sweeper. I think there's a gold card to this. It's actually kind of crazy. It just, it just sends so many cards to the Lost Zone, but that's actually good for certain cards like Giratina. I think the V-Star power requires certain amount of cards to be in the Lost Zone. And we have Rotom, if you guys didn't know, there's such a cute alt art to this. And I think there's even going to be a promo version of this, but I like the artwork of Rotom. It's really adorable. I have this fan too in my house where it looks exactly like the fan that Rotom invades. And I, I told Jay about it. He got so confused because He's not really too much into Pokemon like I am, but I'm like, that looks like a Rotom fan. Because, you know, it's a ghost type. It can invade a lot of electrical appliances like toasters and freezers. So watch out for haunted appliances, Jay. Because mm. sometimes you hear them make noises, right? I lie. <laughs> Chin Chow. And, oh, Dracloak. It looks so much like Dragapult sometimes, but I know the little ears are shorter than Dragapult itself. And it's a hollow, I think, in this set. So that's really cool. Lots of ghost Pokemon. You know what's really actually surprising? I'm, I'm actually shocked that Vala was in a different set and not this set because, you know, they're like, they're buddies pretty much in the game. We have Beldum. Ooh, by Sao Sao. I like that with the crystals. Very beautiful coloring there. We have angry looking nine tails. Oh, and look, we have Glastria. So, no, oh, Spectre. Glastria is the ice type. So I picked these sleeves because basically this is the hollow. Or this is like one of the matching sleeves for this set. So it's pretty cool. And it's also a ghost type, just like Giratina. So very nice hollow. The thing, the funny thing is, right, with hollows like these, I would expect this to kind of appear after, um, what's it called? Shadow Geist. Oh, okay. I forgot it. Oh, Jet Black Poltergeist. That's what it was called. I would have expected it to appear in the following set because normally, it's so hot guys, <laughs> I'm really dying here. Typically, if it was featured on like a VMAX, you'd see it on like a, what's it called, like a V-Star or VMAX, etc. Um, I, I, I reversed that. If it was a VMAX or a V-Star, you'd see it in a hollow form after. But of course, in later Sword and Shield sets like Battle Region, etc., you'd find a lot of V-Star and VMAX cards also with hollow forms in the same set like Lilligant for example, or Hisui and Zoroark. I found that very interesting because it was not like that in the first year of Sword and Shield. This is a really beautiful artwork by Akira Egoa. Then we have Phantom there, Lantern, Veneria. Guys, there's just so much, there's so much cameos, like way more than in the Sun and Moon era, in my opinion. And we have Trevenant, very, very beautiful holographic. And the hollow foil still looks a little bit duller <laughs> compared to earlier sets. Again, I think Japan's just trying its best to keep up with the demand. I know Pokemon's not as popular as it used to be last year, but there's still lots of love for it, in my opinion. We have Porygon Z, Porygon Z, depending where you're from. Okay, and we have Binacle, Slugma. Guys, I don't know how I'm surviving in this, like, 90-degree weather. Fahrenheit, if you're in the U.S., I don't know what, it's like 35 or something, or 32 Celsius. I'm trying not to look like a sweaty mess in this video. <laughs> but alas... We're still in the hunt. No V stars yet or V Max. There's a Kiram V Max. It looks like candy in the set. Luminion, very nice. Reminds me of the Luminion alt art by Ligton. We have Flachinder. Oh, ver our first V star. It's Drapion. I don't know why Drapion's getting so much like spotlight. We had this also in Astonishing Volt Tackle. Of course, just the V card. We didn't have a V Max, but it got a V star. Very interesting. I felt like someone, you know, other Pokemon could have gotten also Spotlight, but sure, I guess it works in the set too. Maybe they needed specific dark types to be featured in the set. I don't know. Okay, we got Comfy. That's such a cute name. It sounds like something you want to hug. Finian, Buffalon. Oh, look at that. The Lost Zone coloring definitely makes that stand out quite a lot. Again, so cool. So cool. I love how each artwork has like a story of its own. This pack's very puffy. Interesting. A lot less... um 
tight compared to the other packs. Oh yes, we have Fantina also lost his own notation for a trainer card. That's pretty cool. Imagine if the full arts had that. I don't know how they would implement that, but that would make a really nice border in my opinion. Oh, and we have a Aerodactyl V. I haven't seen Aerodactyl for quite some time, so I'm sure all the Aerodactyl fans are really happy, especially. I like the, uh, Altar, the, the Altar is so yeah, nice. I, right? I, I know when Lista Leaf pulled that card, super lucky. Super textured and super nice. If you haven't checked out his video, that was a really cool pull. <gasps> Guys, I think I think there's something in the back. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna slow down you right now. Piece of paper Durant, uh, no, no, I think I oh. think I'm gonna focus on this. We got oh, Porygon. Okay. I could have just seen some. Oh my god! <laughs> that could have totally been the gold Giratina. Now we have this. Um, I think it's like the demolished stadium. It, it's some sort of stadium card, but. Hey, it's, it's a gold card. These are very hard to pull in Japanese. In my opinion, we have the ultra rare. Sometimes two of the gold cards are added in as like a bonus. So sometimes you can pull this with another secret rare. I'm not definitely not getting my hopes up, but that's definitely better than the full art in my opinion. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Thank you, Yakuna, for that really cool box. Gold card, it would have been so much better if it was the Giratina, but who am I to complain? They blessed me with a really awesome box. We have Macargo, really cute Amogon. Lots of South Sao artwork. If you're a South Sao fan, there's lots of artwork from um, this person to collect. So there you go. We have Cedra. Oh, we still have loads of packs left. I'm still looking for any Giratina, whether it's the V or the V Star. I hope I pull one at least. I'm sure there are boxes where you even you wouldn't even get a Giratina, even though there's like what like six of them including the secret rares and the non-secret rares. Oh, Glass Chariot, there you go, there's the right one. It's so weird seeing Glass Chariot and Spectre without Calyrex. Very, very interesting, but there you go. Because also I believe in the game, you don't really like fight with it or you can't really have it by itself. It has to be with Calyrex, so. Very interesting holo card to have. One to the front as usual, Cramorant. But see if this is one of those like in-between sets like Dark, uh, Dark Phantasma, Battle Region, you wouldn't really have to do the card trick, I believe, or am I confusing that with Korean cards? That's what happens when you open sets in different languages. I'm, I don't know how I'm surviving. Once again, excuse me for the temporary sweat break, because my goodness, if I didn't have tissues, I'd, I'd be at this point, like the sweat would just go <laughs> over my eyes and I couldn't even see what I'm opening. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, that is really cute. That's adorable. We got Pharaoh Seed. Love the artwork. It almost looks like Hyogonosuke, but it's 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 different artist. So, oh, oh wait! Oh oh, look at that! Oh, I had oh, I, my hopes. My hopes were like at the floor right now, but we got a double box. Wow, you're not gonna think I'm not gonna argue against a beautiful Giratina VSR. That is gorgeous. I'll definitely take that. Because if it was anything else, I wouldn't be as happy. But I love Giratina. So cute. Sleeving this up. Hit that like button. Wow. And that really matches the pack art quite well. It's not the altar, but who am I to complain? That is amazing. <laughs> I do collect Giratina on the side. Let me say something though. How did this alt art nearly break? or if not already have broken like $300 on the market when we had a Giratina slash Garchomp alt art from GGN. I remember getting that card for like $10. Like no one cared about that card. I like that card because I love both Giratina and Garchomp. Massive dragon fan here. I just find it interesting. Of course, Shinji Kanda has some pretty sexy art style. Really detailed, really festive. It makes it look like the distortion world is like a freaking party zone. So definitely want that card. We got Del Fox. Look at that. So funny. My first Giratina pull is a full art, but hey, this is also really cool too. Really love the Lost Zone colors. Del Fox is also my um, main Pokemon. I think it was X and Y. Um, that Pokemon was released, so really cool. One to the front. Holy cow. And also on the left side, Team Left is really winning today. I know I don't really do Team Left, Team Right anymore as much, but I'm surprised both SRs were pulled on the left side. So that's pretty remarkable. Again, that did confirm what I said about gold cards. Sometimes it's just an add-on. You know what I mean? Imagine if that was the gold card Giratina and the Giratina full art. <laughs> One to the front. Okay, we got a lady. She also kind of goes for a lot her full art form, my goodness. Okay, we have Sandy guys, even though it's like an NPC of the game. Ooh, there you go. There's Crocodile. Really cool holographic. I like the dark type. All right, next pack. Well, we have like five or six left. Oh my goodness. Totally did not expect that, you know, surprise pull there. Crocorook. Wow, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh Thorn has an intense artwork here. Looks like it's, an, you know, having quite an intense battle. Looks like, what, Bullet Seed? We have Binacle, Araquanid, and a Lost Zone Bennett gonna take another sweat break oh my gosh there's like so much like paper on the floor now because of this but it is what it is we're getting through this right 
I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is such a fun set. I know it's gonna get slept on, but there's so much to appreciate. There's so much like popular Pokemon too. If you're collecting a specific kind, there's a lot to you know get from here. Even like Gen One, like Horsey, V Max. Oh, it could. It would have been so much better if it was the Giratina V Star. But who am I to complain? This is actually a legendary V Max, and the Kirim actually looks really pretty. So really, really nice work by N Design. You know they're in-house artists, so really cool sleeving that up you're typically guaranteed two v stars or a v max and a v star in a booster box if you're lucky you could pull three but don't expect it that's very rare i even would consider that even a printing error but you know things happen comfy you got sand dial indeed oh that's so cute that's really a precious artwork right there seal oh and galarian stunfisk all the stunfisk fans out there it's like a whole like fandom i think <laughs> All right, two more packs. Like, this box did not disappoint, let me tell you. I really thought it was just going to be it with that gold card, but let's keep going. We got Sandy Gastrazi, really adorable. Love this, love this so much. And Moga. Ah, and Kiram. So we got Kiram V and V Max. You don't really see Kiram too much, so it's getting some love here. It's interesting because Giratina is already a legendary Pokemon, so we're getting another one. Get, um, having some love in this set. I'm dying, guys. <laughs> I don't know how I'm still keeping my composure with this, but we're getting through this. Last pack. Probably not going to get anything. We did just pull a nice V card. We got Nuzleaf, Sandy Gast, Feral Thorn, Volpix, and oh, we ended with a Shinji Kanda. If you're not if unfamiliar with that artist, this is their art style and it's Hypno. Very beautiful. Love the sunset and the oh, the shadow looks like it's even like in Cosmo form. So that's really cool. So there you have it, guys. Really amazing box. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want your own booster box of Lost Abyss, check out the link in the description below. Check out yakanao.com.